Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast Radio. Well, over 5,000 people in Ireland have already been trained in the Brain Cam programmes. Brenda Cassidy, the woman behind these programmes, joins us now to explain how personal necessity acted as the trigger for the Brain Cam Institute. Brenda, before we discuss the programmes and the benefits which they deliver, I'd like to get an insight into your own background. I'm an occupational therapist, have been for about 33 years, and um, I'm also a mum to three children. I have a condition called dyspraxia in myself, which would have been known historically as the clumsy child syndrome, but it's much more than that. Very, very, very common in schools. And also I have three children, two of whom have uh, dyspraxia and one who is dyslexic and epileptic. So um, I suppose I've spent the last nine or ten years creating solutions um, to help children with what I call something going on. And Brenda, the Brain Cam programme was founded out of personal necessity. So perhaps you might share the story behind the programme with us this morning. Sure. So I moved back from New York. I was an adult therapist all through the years and actually cancer care was my um, speciality. And I came back to Ireland to take up a post in palliative care. And of course, um, we went on to have children and my first child, she was very fussy, very unsettled, difficult to sleep. Um, And what I didn't know then, but I found out later on, was that she's hypersensitive to light to smell, to sounds, to certain clothing um, with tags on or seams. And she was unsettled because she was trying to tell me in her baby language that she was uncomfortable. And so she was probably hearing sounds maybe up to 10 times louder than another baby and feeling, you know, tags on clothing or seams 10 times more or smells um, or she had a very, you know, upset stomach and she had reflux, all of that. So um, I was an adult OT and um, I think I should have known better, but I didn't understand. And when she got to um, the age of um, seven, um, she started to have severe anxiety, meltdowns, um, really was struggling. And that's where we see a lot of this raise its ugly head very much at that age of seven, eight, nine. Had I known again, what I know now, I realised that she never crawled and a baby not crawling is very significant. Children should crawl and if they're not making attempts at crawl, they should be put into positions that really um, facilitate them to crawl. That is a massive effect on the brain. So um, I brought her um, to our GP actually and he um, correctly diagnosed her as having a dyspraxia and sensory processing disorder. So her brain does not process sounds, lights, touch, smells, tastes and temperature, her body temperature, all of that. Um, it, 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 the brain um, over processes it um, as being too high or too loud. So um, once I knew what the problem was because I innocently had thought that she'd some sort of anxiety disorder and I assumed we'd have to go down the route of mental health services and I'd wondered uh, would she be placed on anti-anxiety medication. But actually it was her anxiety was what showed to the fore. But underneath that, I had to find ways to strengthen her body, strengthen her brain and dial down the um, information coming into her brain that was coming in too loud, too smelly, too strong, too high, and that was making her extremely uncomfortable. And once I'd figured out how to do that, um, I taught her to do it herself, which she does beautifully now as a teenager, and that is what we call nowadays self-regulation, where the child can self-regulate their own behaviour. So, Brenda, talk to us about the content which you developed for the original Brain Cam Physical Programme and how it has evolved since then. So, the Brain Cam Physical Programme is a 15 minutes a day, five day a week, set of really simple exercises using really simple um, pieces of equipment such as a, a balance beam or, you know, balls and a therapy ball, yoga ball. Um, 
where the, we work on very specific areas of the brain, Carl, and those specific areas are what are causing the children to be inattentive in class, to have poor concentration, to be falling off the chair, to be shouting out and walking about and disruptive, to be uh, looking out the window, swinging, fidgeting is a massive problem um, across uh, the world, really. So those are exercises. They're occupational therapy type exercises that target those areas of the brain. So, for example, we work really intensively. It's like HIT training, H-I-T-T, HIT training on the balance part of the brain, we work on the bridge between the right and left side of the brain, specific areas that uh, clear traffic jams there. Um, we work really intensively on the core, for example, the child's core, strong core, strong great brain. And originally, I had put together a set of those 15 minutes a day exercises that could be uh, delivered as effectively by a special needs assistant as me. So I developed a further six weeks, which is block two, and that um, is a set of exercises similar to block one, but um, more progressive. They're a little bit harder. And then we went on to develop block three. And we went on to develop block four. And um, that was that's how it went. And then um, word got out, word spread very quickly. Uh, that we had this brain cam physical program. Uh, SNAs were talking to SNAs, principals were talking to principals, and that was really how the whole thing took off. And Brenda, the second program that was developed then is the Brain Cam Sounds program, which is taken by kids at home. Provide mm-hmm. us with an insight into that. Sure. So the Brain Cam Physical program um, is where we train the SNAs. Uh, They're certified by us, and that's mostly done in schools. So this year, I brought a new program called Brain Cam Sounds to the Brain Cam Institute. And basically, it is a set of really complex sounds. It's not calming music at all. It works the brain really, really hard. And those sounds are personalized for the child or teen or adult, Um, It's delivered through big over-ear headphones. They don't have to be special headphones. Anything that sits over the ears, it won't work through AirPods, for example. And those sounds go into the brain, work the brain really, really hard, and strengthen up um, connections in the areas that are identified as weak. Um, And how we know that um, is, for example, a parent would come on to our website. They would fill out a form to tell us a little bit about their child, Um, maybe their speech is delayed, maybe their um, really, really bouncy, tigger-type behaviour, maybe their sleep is out of sync, maybe they are bedwetting, Um, maybe they've got really poor attention, concentration in school. So they fill a form and tell us about the child uh, or the, the, the small child, child or teen or adult. And then our engineers over in Europe des- develop a personalised program specifically for that individual. They build the science program for them and then that is delivered very simply through an app on the phone. They plug the headphones into the phone and they pop them on for an hour a day for a month and then um, one of our team members follow up with that parent um, through that month and at the end to see the the outcomes. And Brenda, finally, as you look to the future, what are your plans for the Brain Cam Institute? Well, we have mostly been operating in Ireland up until now. As I say, we've trained 5,000 people in the Brain Cam Physical Programme and we're just up and away with Brain Cam Sounds. And um, because of covid Um, It did me a huge favour. We did have seven people all around the country teaching the Brain Cam Physical Programme to SNAs, some parents as well, and uh, teachers before COVID. And then we put everything online. So we're about to become fully digital. All of our training, all of our solutions, they can be accessed uh, through our website, braincaminstitute.com. So because of that, we have people who joined us from Europe and different parts of the world to train in the Brain Cam Physical Programme. And uh, things have really opened up for us. 
So uh, it's been used across Europe at the moment. And in June, I launched the Brain Chem Institute at the three autism shows in the UK. So we're heading to the UK um, with all of our solutions very, very shortly. Um, one of my team members is based in the US. So when we're ready, we will um, we'll be going to the US, to Australia and uh, to the Middle East. Well, if you've just tuned in, that was Brenda Cassidy, the founder of the BrainCam Institute. And it's great to see this business having a meaningful impact on children's lives. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick.